Wow, you can really see all the flyaways. Anyway, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today I did something I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> I made a purchase that I really, I probably, I just, I shouldn't have. Um, but I did anyways. I did not go to Scriptus this year, which is the fountain pen show in Toronto that's held uh, on the last Sunday of every October. Um, but, but I did see uh, that Wonder Pens had created some new stuff that they were premiering at Scriptus. And I was pretty bummed that I didn't get to see it. So I was like, okay, let's do it. So I made a purchase. Um, I am slightly regretting the purchase and I'll tell you why, because I wish I could have changed a little bit of what I did, but we'll get into that. The primary reason that I made it, the purchase, <laughs> uh, was because they released two new inks. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am obsessed with an ink they came out with last year called Ginger Chicken. Um, this is a dominant industry um, creation with Wonder Pens uh, called Ginger Chicken. It is a beautiful, beautiful, like orange-ish color. I mean, you can tell just by the bottle. Forgive my nails. They're garbage looking. I painted them for the first time in like forever. And yeah. Anywho's, um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it so, so much. Um, it's very, very similar to um, Mont Blanc James Purdy and Sons Single Malt, but it's not scented. Um, and you all know I'm obsessed with that. Now, this is a bit richer. Uh, it's also very, very similar to um, Dye Mine Ancient Copper. Uh, so pretty close to that, not an exact match, but pretty darn close to that. Uh, and I'm obsessed. They also came out with another one called Tuna. Um, that one is gray ink. This is called Ginger Chicken because that's their two cats. Um, and they came out with two more inks this year uh, called tuna and olives and chicken in the sky with diamonds uh which is just super super cute um the basically it's after both their cats again but it's after their eyes so ginger <laughs> ginger chicken um you know chicken in the sky with diamonds and then tuna with olives because their eye is green and ginger chicken is like a gray teal blue ish uh don't worry i've swabbed them up so you'll be able to see um they are in the 25 mil bottles once again i've cracked them open so i could swab them and make it dry for you guys uh and i may or may not have already inked them up um and it is just gorgeous um obviously i've only inked it up once so there's not that much gone in the bottle yet but tuna and olives you can see is green and chicken in the sky with diamonds it's kind of like a blue green gray teal ish ish uh and then i also bought a sample of Ferrisville press storied blue um i already had a sample of this i actually wanted to buy the entire bottle but they didn't have it it was out of stock um so i bought the sample just so i could refill my pen and I will buy the full bottle the next time I place an order uh, with whatever brand that happens to be. So that portion of the purchase, super stoked about, love it. The next one, I mmmed and awed about for a really long time between uh, a pen from Franklin Kristoff, their Model 20 um, that they just came out with. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, it's very much up my alley with like being like a warm brown. Um, and then I also was very curious about the Diplomat Arrow. Uh, both pens, both models have been around for a really long time. Um, but I was like, okay, I want to get a new pen. I haven't bought a new pen in a year basically um so which one do i want and i decided to get the diplomat uh, and i decided that because a long 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 time ago uh, i have used a franklin christoph model 20 and i've never used the diplomat 
arrow. So I decided to get this one. And I'm kind of regretting my choice. Not because this is an amazing pen. It is. It's just now I'm like, dang it, I really do want the Model 20. Um, but, and I kept this box, and I don't typically keep boxes. But if I can open it, I kept the box. And I've already shared this uh, with my Patreon crew because I thought it was just really, really cool. Um, so, I mean, check out the description if you want to see a link to my Patreon and become one of those cool people. Uh, <laughs> but I thought the box is really neat in the sense that it's partially metal. It's just like the sleeve is a metal sleeve. Or at least like, I don't know, but it's cool. It's really, it's really cool. I liked it a lot. Um, I went with the all black version, mostly because again, my biggest problem with, with when I place an order at Wonder Pens, which isn't necessarily their fault, it, they're a small store, uh, is just like half of their inventory is always out of stock. <laughs> so the model that I initially wanted was the green. They didn't have it because I figured the green would pair perfectly with tuna. Um, they didn't have it. So I got the all black model, uh, which right now matches my nails because I painted my nails black. <laughs> um, and yeah, so there will be a review coming of this pen which I do currently have inked up uh, with tuna and olives um, because that ink is awesome. <laughs> so there will be a review coming of that uh, probably in the next like week or two um, because I've already been using it for about a week or so. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys what I got so that you can look forward to that. Um, because these inks are awesome and I also wanted to do it just to let my fellow Canadians know that if you're looking check it check it out because these inks are really cool uh, and I really like these little bottles um, they're like teardrops almost and it's cute I like it um, so that is the purchase that I kind of regret and I was curious because I'm like this can't be the only time that this has ever happened to me one time in in the world there's got to be somebody else who's made a purchase that you're kind of just like mm, should I have done that because now I'm kind of regretting it like I not that this is a bad pen spoiler for the review but I'm just like, gosh darn it. I really should have gotten the Franklin Kristoff. The color of that one just like speaks to my soul. And you know, it's fall going into winter soon and it's just like, dang it. But is what it is. Cause I'm not gonna buy the pen now. Cause I mean, it's expensive. It's like 200 bucks. So yeah. That's where I'm at. I'm just curious, have you ever been in that position as well where you're, you know, really wanting a pen, um, but you're kind of like torn between two, you end up getting one and then you kind of like semi regret your decision? Um, let me know in the comment section down below uh, because I'm curious. And while you're down there, you might as well hit the like and subscribe because new videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Tuesday. Um, check out the link in the description if you want to help support me on Patreon like so many of you do. But if you've watched it, uh, this video for like eight and a half minutes by now, uh, then you are the reason why I make these videos. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.